Hello, first grade. We are outside today. So a change of scenery is always nice. So go outside. I have two really fun facts for you today. I'm gonna try and do a fun fact in every video, but I have two today since I missed yesterday. The first fun fact is that crocodiles can't stick their tongue out. That's a little weird, isn't it? The second fun fact that I have is that a shrimp's heart is in its head. Isn't that weird? Well, super weird, but fun facts. Today we're gonna read Squirrel Me Timbers by Louise Piggott. Deep in the forest and high in the trees lived a squirrel named Sammy who dreamed of the seas. His belly was round and his fur, it was red, and he was a pirate. At least that's what he said. Ahoy, mateys, cried Sammy, light on his toes. Today's an adventure. Have you had one of those? Come now, me hearties, we'll have us some fun. You'd better keep up with me as I run. Sammy dashed on and to his surprise found a treasure map lying right there on the ground. Treasure, yelled Sammy, hidden far away. Hundreds of nuts, I need them today. I must hunt down this secret squirrel plot. Always remember, X marks the spot. Sammy was daring and full of great skill, so like a ball from a cannon, he shot down the hill. But hidden by darkness were thick, spiky thistles. Youch! Sammy shouted. My bum's full of bristles. Pick out those prickles, a hedgehog you are not. We still have to find where X marks the spot. Now deep in the dark, there lurked something scary. Swish, snap, splash. Sammy, be wary. Something in the water began to stir. It gave Sammy goosebumps under his fur. Shiny teeth fixed in a frightening smile. This lake was home to... This lake was home to a... Huge crocodile. Quick as a flash, Sammy flew through the sky and landed in a boot that was floating on by. Tis a vessel, he said, although it be smelly. I'll sail me away from that beast's hungry belly. Come on now, Sammy, a croc snack you are not. We still have to find where X marks the spot. He is having quite the adventures. Sammy flew down the river, he really got going. His ship wasn't so stinky when the breeze started blowing. The marshes looked eerie and Sammy felt daunted. It wasn't just the wind wailing, the whole place was... The whole place was haunted. Run away, Sammy, from this spooky trap. We are nearly at X marks a spot on the map. He's almost there. We've made it, cried Sammy, but his eyes grew wide. There's no treasure here. Those map makers lied. Not one single nut, no bounty for me. And so in a fit, Sammy kicked a tree. Hmm, whack. He is not very happy. Rumble, creak, groan. Ooh, crack rumble. There was a rumble and grumble as Sammy howled in pain. Great, he cried crossly. Now here comes the rain. But this was a shower like no other foretold. <gasps> Thousands of nuts! Sammy had struck gold. How do you think he's feeling right now? Really happy, I'm sure. Maybe even surprised that he found all the nuts. 
You see, years ago, away from the seas, some squirrels buried the treasure they'd found from the trees. And there's Captain Hazelnut. Their treasure grew tall and now hung overhead, and they too were pirates, at least that's what they said. The end. It says, for mom and dad, with thanks for all your love and support. Oh, doesn't he look so happy? Maybe even tired. Thank you for reading with me today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.